And welcome everybody to the Stay True Team call. It is a new, a fresh, a start over month, September. Um, August, guys, is notoriously, notoriously slow for Beachbody. That's why they have the Team Cup. That's why they push us extra hard because I don't know what it is. Just getting back to school, whatever it might be, whatever our excuse might be. Um, I think it's across the board from coaches to customers. So now it's September, kind of time to refocus. So our call, our call tonight is going to be just on that. Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. And I can't see everybody. So Beth can't see you guys. Don't worry. For your part, I'm going to switch it back. Okay. Um, but... Basically, um, tonight's call, guys, we're going to be uh, doing some recognition for Success Club and also for uh, Team Volume, and then I'll go over a couple announcements that I feel are pretty big, pretty important, and then we'll go ahead and turn it over to Beth to talk about getting focused and give us some tips on doing that. So our Success Club last month, we had two, two people make Success Club 10. That was Dan and Beth. So congrats to you two for that. And we had some guy, uh, guys and gals, I guess. I can't just say guys in general. But we had um, Success Club 5 earners. They had between five and nine Success Club points. Uh, Gretchen Namoff, Kristen, Christina, Moppy, Tina, Peyton, and myself. We had a whole bunch of coaches that had two, three, some of them had four points that were just that far away from getting Success Club 5 but fell short. So let's not let that happen this month. Let's all get off to a fast start and um, get to Success Club 5 as soon as possible. Team volume point leaders for this past weekend. We had a bunch of people um, get over 100 volume points for the week. Um, Dan Barry led us off with 715. Beth had 519. I had 435. Peyton had 375. Mark Lodato, 280. Moppy, 275. Sh Sheila Nixon, 232. Mescal Pitt, 207. Um, Heidi, 205. Jessica, 195. Laura Antonucci, 180. Nice. Elisa Ketterman, 175. Tara Whitmire, 170. Jessica Schrock, 145. Jill Berry, a.k.a. Dan Berry, 135. Gretchen, 135. Heather Lettermoser, 135. Nick Novak, 134. Good job, Nick Novak. You beat your uh, <laughs> lovely spouse, Jennifer Novak, who had 105. Uh, Christina Schneider, 127. Kristen Rogers, 125. Uh, my man, Dan Hernandez, 120. James Pettipes, 120. Uh, Jennifer, Jen Novak, like I mentioned, 105. Tracy, 105. Jennifer Anderson, 105. And Cody Cutright made the cut at 100. So congrats to all the top point team, point, or team volume point leaders for this past week. I look at this growing and growing, and these names becoming smaller and smaller because we have to fit in full more names on the screen. Um, so, you know, reach out to your sponsor coaches and encourage them to at least try to get 100 points every week. And that means that you're moving your business forward. They're moving their business forward. And uh, you'll see a good amount of growth as a result of that. So a couple key announcements that I think are huge. Um, September challenge packs, Pio 140, Pio Kickstart 180. And then the three-day refresh is 140. So if you have anybody who – here's what I'm going to challenge you to do. I know Beth's going to maybe give you a homework assignment tonight. So I'm not going to give you a homework assignment. I'm going to give you a challenge, okay? What I want you to do is look at the people who have orders that will be shipping out in September, okay? And I want you to look at all those people, and I want you to call or email each and every one of those people who have a Shakeology Home Direct order – and tell them specifically about either the three-day refresh or pile and see if we can get them to order a challenge pack for $10 more and take advantage of um, the sale that's going on this month for those challenge packs. Um, and that way, just be sure, you know, if they do that, that they cancel their previous order. But, you know, I think that that will definitely show that you're trying to bring value to them and show that you care and that you're trying to 
um, have them buy, um, I keep getting a, I keep hearing my voice in somebody's computer and it's throwing me <laughs> off. Sorry, it's echoing. Um, but yeah, that'll just show that you care about them as a customer and trying to look out after them to give them the best deal. We were just joined by our dog, Roxy, <laughs> who video bombed us. <laughs> All right, guys, this is this next thing. I, I read this and I had to read it like three times to make sure I was reading this right. This is the biggest success club prize ever that Beachbody has given out. If you hit Success Club 5 this month, you will earn a copy of P90X, P90X2, and P90X Plus series. It's a bundle package. It's like it shows here, it's valued at $299, and it is the biggest prize that they've ever given out in Beachbody. Um, I think a lot of this has to do with the streaming of those three programs, and um, just the popularity that, you know, the on-demand has gained. And so, I don't know. If, if you don't shoot for Success Club 5 to take advantage of this deal, then I don't know what's going to wake you up. So, <laughs> I, I'm just going to encourage you. I mean, this is, like, big time. So, get after it. Hit Success Club 5. Even if you, even if you own those programs, like, we already own those programs, but I'm starting to kind of think in my head, okay, how can I encourage people to join a challenge group. These could be prizes. These could be, if you sign up for a challenge group, I can, you know, enter your name into a drawing to win one of these three. All three will be given away. So your chances of winning are whatever, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to brainstorm and think about ideas in order to. Um, well, you can always use a gift to give away, right. like an incentive, so. All right. So we are going to turn it back here now and we're going to let Beth take over minus the dog. Okay. Or so I want to talk to you guys and these are all things we've heard before, but sometimes just part of refocusing is going back to the basics. So the first thing I want to mention is Remember your why. Like we all need to have this written down or I know we've challenged you in the past to make a short video. We've talked about like your story, getting your story down on paper, getting it on video. And we want we want you to have that because when things get like, oh, this week stinks, you know, everyone's saying no. Like you have to have that to go back to. Why are you doing this in the first place? What is it that really motivates you to be a coach and to share these products with other people. So make a two minute spiel about your why. Say it, you know, practice it in front of the mirror and then have it so when people ask you like, what do you do, why do you do this? You have that, you have that to share and you wanna be proud of it and you wanna be able to talk about it like easily, repeat it to people easily. Um, the second thing that I was thinking about with being refocused is just go back to the whole be a product of the product. And I know myself, like my workouts this past month, I don't know why, I've just been like really dragging with them and um, I'm not motivated to do them. And at this point, you know, it's like, are, do you feel that same way? I don't know. I know some of us, you know, have been feeling that way. And I told Glenn, like, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you don't feel like doing it. You just have to do it. Like part of your job as a coach is to do that workout. And my workouts have not been like, it's not my best effort ever, but I'm doing them. I'm still able to post about it on my page. And I've been real with people on my page about, wow, I'm totally struggling, but I got it done. Like part of Part of our journey is the consistency. So while it might not be like your best effort ever, if you're being consistent, then that's, you know, half the battle. And it's going to come. I mean, it ebbs and flows just like everything. It's a journey. It's You're going to feel better with your workouts eventually, but you've got to just keep pushing through with the consistency. Um, the third thing with getting refocused is, and I feel like as, you know, as doubt starts to creep in, don't question our products. Like, don't question some of these workouts. Don't question the value of Shakeology because sometimes I feel like when people start giving you that, oh, it's just so expensive, then we're like, gosh, is it too expensive? Like, should I not be sharing it? 
No, it's expensive because it's awesome. Like, don't forget why we all drink it and love it. So don't be afraid to be passionate about it. You know, don't be unsure about Shakeology. When people say, well, I mean, what's the deal with Shakeology? Anyways, you can say, it works. It's awesome. Like, it totally boosts my energy. It curbs my cravings. And don't, you know, my one of my favorite lines is like, don't mistake my passion for pressure. And I go ahead and say that to people. Like, I've gotten more bold with, I still don't make it mandatory to join a challenge, you know, to be in a challenge group, you don't have to have purchased a challenge pack, at least for my own coaching and for my own customers. But I have gotten more bold with telling people, I highly recommend this for maximum results. You know, I'm, I mean, just go ahead and lay that out there because if they don't, if they don't buy the challenge pack, um, you know, still tell them that, that that's an option. It's a great option. It's a great way to maximize their results, but then they may come around, you know, I mean, are, are all my customers challenge pack orders? No, but hopefully in the next month or two months or six months, they're going to come around and say, gosh, everyone in your challenge groups, you know, seems like they're drinking Shakeology. I want to try it. So again, just, just sharing it and being, um, consistent. The next thing is, and I totally struggle with this, do not be afraid of social media. Don't be afraid to like lay it out there. The good, the bad, the crazy, the silly, like don't be afraid to be on social media, be present on there and talk about not just, you know, not just coaching, but just um, your life in general. Don't be afraid of what people are gonna think, like just post it. Because I know we can get caught up in thinking, gosh, what is, I mean, are my friends, like, are they sick of seeing me post? Are, are people tired of me talking about my challenge groups? Or, um, I mean, you definitely want to have variety, but I, I heard Melanie Mitro say, like, don't second guess it, post it, don't an overanalyze. And she said, she said, we don't pay our bills with other people's opinions. And it's like, that's true. <laughs> so don't think about the people that might be iffy about what you post. Think about that one person that might see your post and be like, the light bulb goes off and they want, you know, you inspire them in some way. So, you know, don't be afraid to like put yourself out there a little bit. That is where the success is going to come over time. The next thing is inviting. So even if you're doing all the things I just talked about, we have, when we're being consistent, we're being a product of the product and we're sharing things, Remember, you still, for some people, you got to put that invite out there. They don't know what you're doing. They don't know when you're talking about, oh, my accountability groups are so awesome and they keep me motivated. They don't know what those are. And this just happened to me last week. I posted, um, it was a post about my next accountability group. And I said to comment below if you're interested, but I just out of curiosity, I went to see who had actually liked the post. And there was a friend from a long time ago. Um, we kind of grew up together. I was younger than them, but um, she is an athletic trainer. She works at a sports med clinic. Like there's zero reason for me to think that she would need my help. But since she liked my post, I just reached out and I was like, hey, thanks for liking the post. I just wanted to see how your own fitness journey is going. Well, here she like texted me this long thing about how it's going terrible. She's her health, you know, she's been bad with her nutrition and um, she's had all these injuries and lately she's been sick and she coughed so hard she broke a rib. And I'm like, okay, first off, you need Shakeology. Like I just went into this whole thing. Like this is what's worked for me. And she ended up buying a challenge pack. Like she's my first challenge pack this month. And I told, I was telling Glenn about it. It's like, I had no, I would have never just invited her through a message, but that just shows you like, don't prejudge anyone. So when you're inviting, um, you know, don't be afraid to offer it. Cause all they can do, you know, they can say no, or they can be like, Oh, what, what is that accountability group that you're doing? Okay. The next thing is hitting success club. And especially this month, there is no reason. I mean, there's, that's a $300. What is the value? Like $299 and something. 60 cents. 
and 60 cents. That's your incentive this month to hit Success Club. And like Glenn said, use it as a giveaway. Use it for yourself. Use it as a Christmas gift for your parents. I mean, what, however you want to use it. But Success Club is, for me, it is like the compound effect for building your business. So, I mean, I love all the, you know, free things that we end up getting because of it, but mostly that's how I build my challenge groups each month. So keep inviting until you get Success Club 5 and, you know, go on for 10, go on for more than that. Um, the next thing's personal development. And I don't know if, if you guys did personal development today, or maybe you're going to do it before you go to bed, but that is just don't forget the value of it and how it just, it boosts your confidence. And a lot of times when you do personal development, it gives you a post to put on Facebook. Like it gives you something positive to share, even if it's just a little one liner or gives us something to share like with all of you and stay true. So don't, don't discount the value of it. If you're reading a, a personal development book that you're not into, I mean, go to a podcast, go to your library and get a new one to read. Just branch out and try you know, different authors until you find something that really speaks to you. The next thing is on your Facebook page, post original content. And it's fine to share videos. And I love sharing, like I love when people share the motivational videos because I'm bad about just surfing YouTube and all that. So when, uh, when my friends share them, I'm like, oh yeah, thanks for sharing that. I, you know, I really liked watching it. But don't forget on your own page to have some original content like be you be authentic be original people you know your customers and your friends they're they're coming to your page because they want to know about you so don't just copy and paste from someone else's page go ahead and share a little bit about yourself and your family and your dog you know i'm always posting roxy on there i get all kinds of comments about her just random silly things um, next is do not overanalyze this process and especially for new coaches like realize you don't have to be diamond to have a fit club you don't have to be a one star to run a coach sneak peek we have all these tools and they're so like the the learning in our back office I feel like or even in our stay true page is limitless but don't think you have to do all that before you jump in and have your own group or jump in and have your own, you know, fit club. Like Sean's running a fit club, two of them, like at four fifteen in the morning, in followed the morning. by one at five a.m. Crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I mean, that's awesome. Like you don't have to be, you know, a fifteen-star <laughs> diamond coach to run a fit club. You can re a brand new coach can run one and reach people that way. And then my last thing, and this is something that is, you know, something me that I personally do, but is just have faith. Like I literally pray that God will put people in my life that need my help. And I pray that for all of us. Like I'm not saying like, please bring me a challenge pack, although, you know, sometimes I want to, um, but just that you know, people come into our life that need us and then the people come into our life that we need, you know, there's people that come in and just are a light for me or positive and I appreciate that as well. So um, don't be afraid to like, you know, pray about your business, about where you should be. Sometimes like Monday was a bad day for me and no, you weren't even around. <laughs> but I just was really down, and I'm like, I'm sick of coaching. Like, I'm sick of the negativity. And then I got a message from someone that said, ever since I've done – and she's not even a customer. She's a free – you know, she's a free one. She's never purchased anything. But she said, I have done your clean eating groups. My husband has lost 17 pounds since May. I've lost 11 pounds. His, his blood work just came back and, you know, his cholesterol is great now. And I'm like, okay, then this, you know, okay, God, I got it. Like, this is where you want me to be. I'll stop complaining and I'll get back to my personal development and push on from here. So I know that September or August was a just slow month for a lot of us. And like Glenn said, it kind of is for everyone across the board. 
but it's time now. It's September. It, I heard, I don't know what coach said this, but someone said yesterday, like September is the new January. So like jump on it do a back to school group or I'm doing a fit and fabulous and fall group. Um, and it is truly that they say, or I was talking to my upline and he was like, August stinks. He said, but September and October are just as good as January and February. So think about that and don't, you know, don't stay stuck in the rut, get out of it, start inviting. And, you know, I think like Beth said, just start taking action. You know, you're not going to do anything better than just starting to take action. So I would just say, pick something, go after it and get it done. That's And I just had one action step. And once you do this and share it, I'll give you like a second little homework assignment. But I want you to like, the first thing I talked about was go back to your why. So make that short little video, just one to two minutes. Like it shouldn't be any longer than two minutes, but just try to, you know, condense it and know something you can go back on, even if you write it out. I mean, but I want you to write it out or make a video and share it and stay true. And I know it might be uncomfortable to do that, but just like I tell my challengers, like be comfortable with getting uncomfortable because that's where the change happens. And, um, I think if we share it with each other too, it's, you know, that's motivating for each other on our team. So that's my action step for you is to over the next, you know, three or four days or whenever you have time to think about your why and have that to go back on and share it with us as well. And then I'll post in the comments, give you a little second action step. That's okay. all. So in order to, for me to win between a 30 minute and a 40 minute call, we need to stay on the call for about 15 more minutes. No, see, I so. finished 926 for four minutes. Look, Sean's Sean asleep. fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, that was a great call. Thank you, Beth, for putting that together for us. Um, what do you guys have? Do you guys have any questions or any comments? They're muted. Are you so. feeling better about, I'm gonna unmute everybody here. <laughs> All right. Okay, so are you guys feeling better about getting started here starting Jan or January? Oh boy. Don't <laughs> starting September off. I'm not quite ready for January. All right, on a better note here. Yep. Good deal. I know I am. I think if you if you really take time to follow these steps and do what, you know, is recommended then I it, it, it will. It'll reset your mind, reset your focus, and get you pointed in the right direction. So if nobody has anything, then I will let Beth win the 30-minute call, and uh, we will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Take care. Guys. Have a good night. Good night.